So you got that new virtual instrument, you installed it, you launched Pro Tools, you're making some music, but you notice the plugin it's CPU intensive. Now what do you do? There's a couple of ways you could do it, and I'm gonna show you the most common way people deal with a situation like this. Let's say this instrument track had that plugin. I would create a new audio track. On this instrument track, I would send the output to any bus, in this case it's 128, and on the new audio track we created, I will send it to uh, the same bus, which is 128. So you have the instrument track output going to bus 128, and you have that audio track, the input, bus 128. Hit record, start recording, and basically what you did, you printed all the information from here to the audio track. So now once you're done, you will right click the instrument track, make an active, or you can hide and make an active. Don't delete it, you might need to go back to it, but once you do that, it's gonna free up some uh, CPU power. All right, so let me show you another way. Let's get rid of this. Let me send this output back to one and two. Let's go over to the mixer window. And the first thing I want to show you guys, I have the rewire client open and guess what I'm rewiring? I'm rewiring Reaper and I have the Reaper output set to three. Look at this, you have 32 outs and I'm currently selecting uh, three. You could select left and right, but I don't want to. I want to give everything its own output. Now let's go to Reaper and I want to insert an instrument. Okay, just choose anything there. Let's go to Pro Tools. Well, before we go to Pro Tools, we have to uh, match that output. So it's uh, rewire output to rewire output three. So click that. Now we can minimize Reaper. Close this and let's see if we have some sound. Sweet, so we got some sound. Now what I want to do, I would like to record something just to show you guys that uh, it's the same thing. I just want to change that sound. All right, so let's uh, go back into Pro Tools and Let's try to record something. I never said I was a great piano player, so let's just be glad we have quantize available to us. So I'm gonna quantize that. Let's hear it. All right, now the next thing I wanna show you guys, the usage. So here's the CPU usage and it's at 1%. Let's play and look at the CPU usage. Nice, so that's something you could experiment with. It doesn't have to be Reaper. You could do the same exact thing with uh, Reason, Cubase. You could rewire and have the best of both worlds. You have the ability to use your RTAS plugins and the ability to use your VSTIs into Pro Tools. But if you have any questions, guys, post in the bottom. I will answer them. Give me a thumbs up and press that subscribe button. Later, guys.